Hi, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to auto post your blog uh, post to Twitter um, using a WordPress WordPress plugin, excuse me. And so uh, I won't be using kickstartcommerce.com uh, um, today in today's tutorial, but I will be using another one of uh, my test sites that is simply a WordPress site with a normal WordPress theme. I believe it's 2016 to be exact. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and get started with today's tutorial. So you'll need to log into um, your WordPress admin. I'm using um, a WordPress installation that hosted with uh, InMotion hosting. Uh, they're reliable, speedy, um, as well as affordable um, in regards or in comparison to a GoDaddy or Bluehost or uh, even HostGator. So I tend to use them um, quite a bit for primary as well as secondary projects. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, go ahead and log in. And so I'll log in here using credentials. And once you get in, you'll want to go to plugins. Once you go to plugins, go to add new. And the plugin that we're looking for is called WP to Twitter. And this is the plugin here. And as you can see, it's not installed. And so um, you can use WP to Twitter, or if you're, let's say, for instance, using Buffer um, to publish your post, you can actually use the WP to Buffer. For this tutorial, like I said, we're only focusing on WordPress to Twitter. Um, and so the basically your post uh, anytime it comes from WordPress or you update uh, it'll post automatically to Twitter so we'll go ahead and click install now we'll wait for it to complete its installation and it has we'll go ahead and activate the plugin and so you basically have to allow your Twitter account to um, give access to the plugin and so uh, one of the things go ahead and click the allow and continue button and it's likely that you're going to be asked to log in uh, to Twitter here so this is your basic WP to Twitter options admin profile uh, you'll have to register the the site that you're trying to uh, auto post for you'll have to go ahead and register that um, we'll just go ahead and click this link here in the first step, register the site as an application on Twitter's application registration page. It'll take you to Twitter. You'll go in, um, and we'll just call this um, K, what are we, KSC uh, com test. This is a test for auto publishing WordPress to Twitter and we'll put in um, the URL which it is there and we'll just make it go back to the same site obviously you gotta agree to the developer agreement click create your Twitter application and now that's been um, that has basically been created and so what will happen uh, now is that um, you'll have a certain set of keys that are generated um, and so these are application settings and uh, you'll just need to to keep keep these settings and keys, especially the keys and access tokens, um, private. And so the reason I'm sharing this is that I'm going to actually uh, delete um, these tokens. So for instance, I'm going to go ahead and create my access token. So now it gives me says your access token has been successfully generated. It may take a moment for your changes to be reflected. Um, and so there's my access token. You can always go and regenerate new access tokens. 
Um, so that's no big deal there. So um, if you want, you can go back, just go back to your regular site. You're going to, and we'll get back into the dashboard. And we'll go back into plugins, and this is just to make sure. And a couple of things, once it's been activated, you'll see down here at the bottom of your WordPress on the left-hand menu, WP to Twitter, um, or you can actually go to the plugins, WP to Twitter, and then click WP to Twitter settings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click that. And uh, basically, we are ready. To go back and what happened so what what will happen is you'll need to come in and follow these steps and so you'll need to paste in your API uh, key your API secret and your access token so what we'll need to do is go back and what I'm going to do is just have it open another window and you can always go back back to application management and there's our KSC com test um, and then what you'll want to do is just go to your keys and access tokens here's your API key we'll copy that paste that in there copy your secret Paste that there. And then we already have access token copy. Paste that there. And then you'll have the token secret. And then you can paste that there. And make sure that the spaces are not there. And then essentially all you have to do is click the connect to Twitter and now you're connected and so these are the basic settings so if you're using um, you know sh a uh, URL shortener for your links if you have a bitly account so for instance I have a bitly account so I could set up bitly it would ask me um, pretty much to kind of go through the same thing that I did to connect WordPress to Twitter only it would be to bitly I'm not going to use one for now the typical settings that I use is um, update when a post is published and I check that box and you can change any of these uh, you can change where it says new post it'll have the title and the URL you can also update um, a post when it is edited I choose not to use this feature um, only because I don't edit too many of um, my post but you know you're more than welcome to use that they also give you a set of tweet template tags that you can use so feel free to uh, use those tags and, and custom fields um, so other than that I mean you can like I said go to the URL shortener and whatever URL shortener you're using it will will appear there um, there are advanced settings in terms of setting uh, you know your hashtag your template settings and so forth so you can go through set those I typically just leave them as is um, so what we'll do is go ahead and we'll let's test this out let's make a post and so test post test WP post to Twitter We'll just put in there. This is a WP post to Twitter. We'll make it real simple. And so what we'll do is set this up uh, just to be a minute out. And in here, you'll also notice that now it has a custom WP uh, Twitter. Um, custom post settings so you can change whatever you want that to be there um, you can also click don't tweet the post and it won't tweet that specific one or when you see that it 
is blue here and it has a check mark next to it it says tweet post so it will tweet the post so we'll schedule that and now what we can do is go over I'll open up another one of these tabs and we'll go to Twitter and we'll see first what we'll do is actually we'll go to our site to make sure that it did post so I'll open another tab to go to the site to see if it did post and there's a recent post test WP post to Twitter there's our post it's already live and it's out there viewable and when you go to your Twitter account, which I'm going there, voila, it has been posted. And so it's just that easy. So I encourage you uh, to use this. This is something that I use on um, a daily basis. And this is something that uh, actually helps um, to grow your traffic. And it's something that as soon as you complete your post, you don't have to worry about trying to promote the post um, initially. And so all you have to do is just write your post, save it, publish it, and then as soon as it's published to your website, it actually goes out to Twitter and makes a post. So that's today's tutorial. Um, again, I hope that it helps you out. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.